The reputation of Don Bradman had preceded him. The young man from up country in New South Wales, who Australia said was as good as Hobbs. A claim ridiculous, of course, to Englishmen at that time. Don came here and immediately started making centuries. He'd scored a century in both innings in the Melbourne Test against England on the MCC Tour in 1928-29. Now he scores centuries in England. At Nottingham, Leeds, Lords and the Oval, missing only Manchester. And he's been scoring them ever since. 19 in eight series of tests against England in the course of 20 years, from which you have to subtract six years of war. What a mixture of clever calculation and attractive audacity is the cricketer Bradman. At times you begin to regard him as a machine and then comes the flash of activity which proves him human. Bradman's pull, his favourite stroke as he will tell you, is one of those glorious feats of skill for which you wait in delighted anticipation and exult to witness. Bradman on the temporary defence is a master of concentration too. To have succeeded as he has succeeded, it has been necessary to wear down the spirit and accuracy of many a good bowler. And watch Don's running between the wickets. It has the same determined aggressiveness as the rest of his conduct in the cricket field. This is an instructional film in which the greatest of all modern cricketers, comparisons with the great men of the past are never conclusive and therefore should be disregarded, shows us the batsman's essential strokes and explains them in his own words. The commentary was recorded by Don on his last tour of England, though the pictures on which he thought he could not improve were taken on a previous trip and were used in his book How to Play Cricket. Here he is at the mic, Don Bradman. Let us see, first of all, in slow motion, a forward defensive shot. To be absolutely correct in a technical sense, the bat should be a little closer to the leg. But you will see quite clearly the fundamentals of playing straight and well forward towards the pitch of the ball. It doesn't matter much what happens after the ball is struck, but up to that stage, movements are important. Keep the handle of the bat well forward, perhaps even more than in the film. Don Bradman is not only a great cricketer, he is also a great captain, a department of the game to which he has made no reference in his commentary, but watch him in the field. Conversing with his bowlers and studying the batsmen. Moving fielders. Watching every point and planning every move. Note his concern, too, as he accompanies an injured colleague, Sidney Barnes in this case, from the field. His last test in England, at the Oval, produced a great ovation for the opponent whom Englishmen delighted to acclaim, and whom the King subsequently honoured with the conferment of a knighthood, Sir Donald Bradman. Many people thought that for so great a figure to retire at 40 was to cheat the game of even greater glory, but Bradman was firm. Here were his own words on the subject. And I think I'm probably the best judge of the many little creaks and groans that go on in my joints throughout the day, uh, especially when we're out in the field. And I'm quite sure I shall have no regrets at all in having to sit in the pavilion and watch the other fellows. That was his decision, but he has left us a wonderful memory of successful innings, some of which are illustrated in this film. The advice and the examples he gives in these pictures will, we hope, be treasured by all cricketers, the youngsters in particular. 
With everything you do in cricket, remember that concentration is the keynote to success and that to be a successful batsman, you must watch the ball. I cannot emphasize these things too much. Watch the ball and concentrate.